compatible to some of the concepts we've covered tonight. And I want to share a couple of key takeouts that I think are really relevant for tonight. I want to share this. A few years ago, a good friend of mine was in Japan. This is a long time, 14 years ago. She was in Japan and she wanted to get me a gift from Japan that she thought I'd love. She thought she wanted to get calligraphy. Now you think in Japan, go and get calligraphy done, it's easy. Not at all. She's trying to find a, somebody in the street, a provider would do it. She couldn't find anybody that could do it. So she ended up back at a hotel. In the hotel reception, they're trying to find somebody that can do kanji for her, and they couldn't find any business that does it. They phone a manager. The manager comes down and he says, I don't know anybody that does this, but let, he asks his boss. Long story short, after about half an hour, apparently, she's got the general manager of a four hotel chain. Uh, it's the Park Royale in Yokohama, by the way. I know the name, this has gone back 14 years, but the general manager of the four hotel chain comes down to the reception, apparently, and he turns around to Natalie, my friend, and he says, you know what? I think we've got somebody in the kitchen staff that does this as a hobby. Let me phone and see if she's here. She was there, she did do it as a hobby. She then spent the next hour and a half doing calligraphy on beautiful papers, of which this is the second one. She did these four, which I've now got framed as an amazing object of art in my house as a souvenir. And this was the second one she did, and it's words that my friend believe represent who I am as a human being. And it was such a beautiful gift. Now the reason I share this story is here's the kicker. She was not even a guest in that hotel. She was not even in that hotel as a guest. They did that because they could. They did it because it was service. They did it because it was connection. They did it to add on value to the relationship. And I think even though that sample and that story from 14 years ago now is still one of the most powerful, I think, because they got it early. And it's what I've been talking about a bit tonight, which is focus more on adding value, focus on the connection, and focus on the relationship side of things, because that is what's ultimately going to give you some success within your business. And really think about what you're doing to do that, to get a better result with your clients that you focus on. Does that make sense?